Space. Time. Gravity. Finish that for me. We're going on a journey together, you and I, today. All you eager, nubile young minds on the very cusp of adulthood. <laughs> and I shall be your consort, your guide, your chaperone into the heart of darkness. <laughs> Welcome to Astronomy 101. <laughs> Well, what do we know about the stars? Virgo. The Virgin. Orion, the great hunter. These are no mere twinkling diamonds for lovely maidens to wish upon. No, they are dynamos filled with a throbbing, savage, and pent-up energy. Behold the work of Albert Einstein. A professor once, like moi, energy equals mass temp Young man, there are no questions until I've reached the climax of my lecture. I just finished your book and there's only one problem. Einstein's wrong. <laughs> Energy does equal mass times the velocity of light squared in this dimension. What about the other 17? Nobody ever talks about the other 17. Clear example. Break down the elemental components of energy on a single constant K rate. Extrapolate for each of the 14 galactic converges that took the central prime expedition and receiving it. <laughs> Echo on a signal, you wind up with a form of interdimensional energy creation. A mass and light alone can't possibly explain. Come on, guys, but I can't be the only one in the class. Of Young man, <clears throat> I will not be punked in front of the dean. No, this is my universe here. Do you understand? I am the Alpha and the Omega. Get out of my class. Anyone else care to have some sort of mental breakdown? 